Hi folks, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to look at crypto trading on Binance platform. So this video will give you the knowledge or every single thing you need to know to be able to trade properly on Binance platform, that's to trade crypto on Binance platform. All right. So when you log into your inter your Binance accounts, you get to see this interface. All right. So I've already done a video about the interface of Binance. So I will put a link in the description below for you to be able to go through it if you don't know how to navigate your way around Binance platform. So when this shows up, you need to hover on top of trade and you get to see all this. That's the com sorry, the convert, the classic, advanced, margin, P2P, strategy, swap, and fun. So we are going to focus on the advanced for this video. Now, the convert is when you want to quickly convert your crypto from one to the other. Let's assume you have a, maybe BNB and you want to convert it to BTC or maybe to USDT, for example. This is where you get to do it quickly. All right. So uh, the classic is uh, the classic interface of Binance, that's trading interface of Binance, but we are going to focus on the advanced part of it. So this is the advanced. So when you click on it, it loads up to the advanced uh, trading platform. That's the Binance trading platform for that. So this is how it looks like, all right? And from the top to bottom, we are going to walk through every single thing that you need to know on here. Now, top left, if you look under the Binance uh, logo, you get to see this BTC slash USDT. So this is the crypto pair. Right in Forex, they call it the currency pair. So this is the crypto pair. Yes, you are actually trading BTC with USDT. So this is simply what it means. That's why you see BTC slash USDT. So you can all actually convert or more like switch to whichever uh, crypto pair you want to. So let's assume I have USDT and maybe I want to trade BNB with USDT. I can easily search BNB USDT and it shows up. All right, so I can actually switch between whatever I want to, let's say, and it's not every single pair that is available. Uh, for you, it's good for you to know that. So there are some pairs that are not available. Let's say I want to uh, trade, maybe I can say you want to trade BTC for BNB. Let's know if it's available, BTC, BNB. You can see it's not available, so you can trade this for this. So what you do in a case whereby you want to trade that, you now have to, maybe you have BNB, you want to trade BTC. What you need to do, you now have to go to trade, convert, and then convert your BNB to USDT, and then you can come back to trade uh, USDT uh, for BTC. Okay, so that's for this uh, crypto pair. So if you look under that, you see the time. So these are the time frames that you have. Okay, so before I, I I'll come back to this time frame quickly. Now this is the chart. This is actually the chart where every single trick happens. So this is where you analyze your trade and all that, right? So this, if you look on to this time frame now, you can see that the highlighted one is one H, that's one hour, right? So what this simply means is that for each single candlestick here, so this is called a candlestick, for each, each single candlestick here, what it represents is one hour time frame for each, all right? So uh, this time frame, what it means is that the price of the BTC against USDT went up at this price range. And at this one hour, within the one hour time frame here, it came down, right? So not to be technical, what it means is that this the price went up and the price came down. But in Forex or in crypto, what we call it, or more like the technical term you call it is that this is bullish and then that this is bearish, right? So the red represents a bearish candle and then the green represents a bullish candle. But just assume, or more like on a layman's term, it means that the price went up and the price came down. All right. So going back to the time frame again, you can see that we have the 15M, which is 15 minutes. So the M presents minutes, and uh, the H presents hour, the D represents the day, and the W presents the week. All right. So this means 15 minutes time frame. So for every single, if you click on it, you see that it changes. And for every single time frame that you see on here, it simply means. 15 minutes so it took 15 minutes for the price to come back from so if you hover on this you can see that there is a switch all right 
so the time frame look on here at this place you can see that the time frame is switching so it took 15 minutes for the price of btc to come down from 4000 roughly 42000 okay down to 41300 all right so that's what it means so it took a few minutes for this particular movement to happen so this is what is being shown now but you can actually see more so if you hover on top of this arrow sign you get to see all the time frames available right so the ones highlighted in yellow are the ones that are being shown on here so if you hover back again you see that ones on white are the ones that are not being shown right so if you want to probably take a look at a one minute movement of the candlestick you click on it and what's being shown is this okay so for just one minute it took uh the it took the movement that actually happened within one minute it's from uh, 39,000 roughly to 39,200 okay so this is just example of what actually is happening within one minute so this is actually a live uh, movement okay so you can see that it's still moving within this time frame all right so this is what it means simply so you can actually look at let's say the monthly time frame to see what happened between that month all right so it's what simply means that for each candlestick it represents a one month time frame all right so take it back to one hour all right so moving to the next one that's where you get to see the original the trading view and the depth so the original means the binance original charts all right so this is the binance original chart now you have what we call the trading view if you click on it it switches to the trading view so the trading view is a more advanced tool for trading well actually i will later on i'll do a video on the trading view to explain to us how the trading view is so you get a whole lot of other tools on the trading view right if you see this particular button over here you can actually see the charts on trading view so it moves you to the trading view platform where you can see the charts on trading view all right so you can see that there are a lot of other tools on here for you to be able to read what this simple time this candlesticks means at every time frame so if we switch back to original you can see that it just appears all right so that's for that now if we move to this middle man here so this is the order book so this is where the time frame changes or more like the price range changes so on here what this is or what this signifies is uh, the price of btc currently okay so this is the price that is buying slash selling at so the green represents the sell orders and sorry the buy orders and the red represents the sell orders okay so this is the sell orders that you have actually seen or more like that is going on currently okay so if you place your own order it logs into the logbook immediately if it's within this price range all right so this is for that and then the last part of it is the where you actually set up your own price okay, so we have the limit okay first of all we have the buy we have the sell so if you want to buy of course this is for the buy and if you want to sell you just need to click on it and it switches you to the sell part of it then you have to sell so any single thing you're setting up for is for you to be able to sell at that point in time probably you want you probably have made your profit or you are more like on a loss part and you just want to get out of your trade so that's what it means now if we switch back to the buy part of it you get to see the limits the market and the stop limit so first of all the limits so we are going to look at the limit and the market all right because the stop limit you can still do that later on when you set up your trade when your trade is already running so on the limit part it's you setting the price target what you want it to be right so let's let's let me explain this uh with a naira and a dollar price range okay now because i have my viewers in naira in, in nigeria and outside of the country so, so if you're looking at it from uh, the naira point of view let's assume that you have 1000 naira and the current price range of btc is at is currently at 2000 naira for example right and you want to buy at 1000 so what you need to do is on this price we set it at 1000 naira so that when the price comes down to 1000 naira it immediately picks your trade up simply okay so that's just what it means now the same thing happens to dollar part of it so if you have let's say 500 dollars and you want to buy at 500 dollars but the price range is maybe let's say maybe at 1000 dollars or 700 dollars you just need to set this price tag at 500 dollars and automatically it picks your trade 
once it hits that $500 mark. That's when this thing hits $500 mark, all right? So if you look at this price tag, currently what's being shown here is $39,201. Let's assume that it's $39,200, right? And currently what's being shown here is $39,199, roughly. Okay, so it's almost, it's way above 200 now, okay? So what this means is that, let's assume that I want to buy this at 3900 So I can just remove all this thing. So it's 3900.00, right? Yes. You, know, you can, remove, can remove the zero if you want though. So it's, we want to buy it at 3900 Now, if you hover back on this chart, now look closely at this place, you will see that as I'm going up, the price is changing. All right so if i set this at 900 for example or no let me make it at 8 so it will be clear for us okay so if i set this at 800 now and you hover on top you can see that where my mouse is is roughly at 30 yeah it's at 38 now so this is where my mouse is so what i'm actually saying to the system is that once the price drops down to this place that's it pick my order okay i want to buy btc once it drops at this particular rate okay so i don't care what the market is but once it drops to this particular rate i buy so if you are going up you can see that the price is changing as i'm going up and the price is changing also as i'm coming down so that's what it simply means all right so you can set your usdt at what you want it to be that's with respect to the current price range and it can pick up your trade immediately all right so if you look on here, you can see that it's writing the price and the amount, right? So the amount is the number that you want to buy versus how much you are buying at, all right? So for whatever you set on here, it simply means that this is the price that you want to buy at. That's this market price or whatever price you want to set it at. As the case may be, you want to set at $8,000, right? Okay, and then this simply means the amount that we want to buy. That's the number of BTC you want to buy. So in most cases, what you do is instead of setting it on here, you use the toggle button to set it. Now, already you might you must have made a transfer to your uh, account. You must have had enough USDT because here is zero zero boys. You must have had enough USDT or you should have enough USDT rather to buy this. So what you need to do is let's assume you have 1000 USDT on your account and you want to buy uh, at that's 8,000, for example. So what you need to do is, is to decide how much you want to spend, okay? How much USDT you want to spend. So let's assume you want to spend 500 USDT. You already know that 500 is half of 1,000. So you know, just need to push this toggle button to 50, all right? And automatically, it gives you the range at which you want to buy it. Now, this is zero, zero because we don't have any USDT on our wallet. All right, so once this is done, it automatically gives you a calculation of what is what on here, and then you click on your buy. Now that's for the limit order. So if you go to the market order, the market order now is what you want to buy at that market price. So you don't care how much is, unlike on the limit part, where you have the price, and you say that what you want it to be. So this market is whatever the market is selling or buying at, that's what I want to buy at. So what you need to do is, I already have, let's say, 1,000 USDT. I just switch toggle, which is very fast for me, and 50, boom. Or maybe I switch it to uh, 25 or whatever I want to switch it at. Or maybe let's assume that, because I don't want to use BTC because BTC is quite expensive, okay? So if let's assume that you want to buy, let's say, one BTC or two BTC, you can easily just write, Can easily just write one BTC, okay? It's actually red because we don't have the amount, the money for one BTC. But you can easily just write the number of crypto you want to buy or sell at, and automatically it logs it in, and then you click on buy, and it neatly pushes it into your logbook. All right. So this, when you scroll down, this is where you get to see your open orders. So the open orders is actually the num the order currently running, okay? Then you have your other history, your trading history, and your funds, all right? So this is what you, what you need to know about the crypto trading, right? So uh, if you find this video helpful, do click on the like button and 
because it's actually good for the algorithm so that it can get to more viewers people that actually need this video and if you if you actually like our videos don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we post another video all right so thank you for watching i'll catch you next one cheers <laughs>